Hello everyone, welcome to Scholar Online Technic Automotive. In this video, I will show you how does the basic motor starter work. This motor starter works in three steps. The step one, when you turn the ignition switch to the start position or when the starter switch is on. In this step, the electricity from the battery flows to the ignition switch to the terminal 50 of magnetic switch and then to the hold in coil to the ground and to the pull in coil to the terminal C of magnetic switch to the field coil and then to the brush to the armature and to the brass and then to the ground or earth. As you can see, when electricity flows to the coil, hold in both hold-in coil and pull-in coil, they become an electromagnet. Because they become electromagnet, the plunger, the black component, move to the right position. And because the plunger attach to the drive lever, then the drive lever will move the shutter clutch and pinion gear become engage with flywheel ring gear and as you can see when electricity flows to the field coil and armature they become moving and it's not it's not a big torque because the electricity only flow to the ignition switch it's small current and it's just enough to propel, propel the armature to engage with flywheel smoothly. That's the step one. The second step is when the starter switch is still on and the pinion gear is fully engaged with the flywheel ring gear. In this step, the electric current from the battery flows to the switch to the terminal 50 of magnetic switch and then flows to the hold in coil to the ground and they become and hold in coil become becomes electromagnet and this coil hold as its name hold the plunger in its position on right position on the other hand, electric current also flows from the battery to the terminal 30 to the main switch or contact plate to the terminal C and then to the field coil, to the brush, armature, back to the brush, negative brush, to the ground and they become fully powered by the electricity and becomes me uh, mechanical energy that rotate the armature and pinion gear and also flywheel ring gear to start the engine. On the other hand, because electricity flows from the terminal 30 to the terminal C, the uh, the current also wants to flow to this to this direction, and from the terminal 50, electric current also wants to flow from this direction, and they become meet at the pulling coil because they don't have ground or earth. Thus, the pulling coil is not powered by the electricity and the pulling coil that becomes an electromagnet. The third step is when the starter switch off or when you lose, leave your ignition switch back to the on position. In this step, the electricity flows from the battery not to, not to the ignition switch but 
directly to the terminal 13. Because of main switch or contact plate is contacted with the terminal 13 and terminal C, the electricity flows from the terminal 30 to terminal C and from the terminal C down to the field coil to the brush, positive brush, to the armature and back to the negative brush and to the ground and they still become an electromagnet and have uh, mechanical energy to rotate the pinion gear but in this condition it's very very quick condition very quick step the, the first second and third step it's very fast they just happen on the other hand the electricity flows from the terminal 30 to the terminal C also flows to the pull-in coil and to the hold-in coil even though they have no electricity from the terminal 50 which is from the ignition switch and from the battery now let's see both coil hold-in coil and pull-in coil the pull-in coil have electric current from left to the right as I said before from C and then to the right and go to hold in coil on the other hand the hold in coil have electric current from the right to the left and then to the ground both coil have electric current both coil becomes become electromagnet but they have different direction of a uh, magnet pole the pulling coil for example have the north pole in the right but the hold in coil ha has the north pole in the left and then and because both of the north pole have opposite direction thus the south pole is become close and the magnet uh, the electromagnet doesn't have enough power to hold or to pull the plunger to the right position and that's the third step and because the electric uh, because of the plunger doesn't pulled by the electromagnet the return spring push push the plunger to the left and because of the plunger pulled by the return spring to the left the drive lever become moved like this and because drive lever move in that direction the pinion gear become disengaged with the flywheel ring gear and that's the complete step of how does the basic motor starter work so that's how the basic motor starter work if you have any question comments feel free to leave them below and don't forget to click the like button and subscribe thank you very much